So, hello, my name is Dr. Martina Denny. Uh, I am the German Language Studies Coordinator here at Queen Mary University of London and I work for the uh, Department of Modern Languages and Cultures in the School of Languages, Linguistics and Film. The year abroad is an integral part uh, of studying a modern language degree at Queen Mary and it doesn't really matter whether you study German, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Catalan or Russian uh, because of course it doesn't only help you uh, you know with regards to your future employment options but it also boosts your uh, you know your linguistic proficiency and it also means that it's a great step forward in your personal development. So if you're embarking on a year abroad here at Queen Mary uh, you have a lot of options. We're very flexible in regards of what you can do during your year abroad. So uh, there are basically three main options. You can go either on study placement or you can work for a company uh, of your own choice or you can teach uh, English as a foreign language for the British Council as a language assistant. Um, in terms of where you want to go, we're also very flexible, so it should of course reflect your study programme, but you normally go um, either for a year somewhere, so you could do, for example, a whole year of study placement, or you could split up your placement, uh, do a, you know, a one semester study placement, for example, in Germany, and do uh, one semester work placement in France, or you do a whole year work placement in Chile, or whichever suits your needs best, really. Here at Queen Mary we have um, a broad range of partner institutions all across the European Union. So for example we have Erasmus Plus agreements with universities in Belgium, France, Germany, Portugal, Spain and Latvia. But we also, you can also go beyond the European Union to study. So for example, you could go to Latin America and study in Brazil, Mexico or Colombia. Or you could study in Switzerland, both the French speaking part or the German speaking part. And you can also go to Russia, for example, or to French speaking Canada. There's also a placement at uh, the island of La Réunion in the Indian Ocean, which adds a nice touch to the whole studying abroad theme. If you want to undertake a work placement during your year abroad, um, there are many options to choose from. So here at Queen Mary we have a network of companies that students worked with in recent years. Uh, these include quite a few big names, so for example Coca-Cola, Siemens, Bosch, uh, Abgrati, the International Paralympic Committee, etc. So you could either do work for those or you could so source your own placement. Um, the other option if you want to do work during a year abroad is of course to work as a um, teaching assistant for the British Council. You would be teaching English as a foreign language and this would be either at a primary school or a secondary school. And all of these options of course are very good because you can um, at the same time gain some work experience which will be valuable for you know job applications in the future. Uh, this can boost your CV uh, significantly and you can also gain a bit of money at the same time. There are a lot of benefits to be gained from a year abroad. Um, so first of all there is of course the linguistic side. Uh, you will very high, it's very highly likely that you will gain near native proficiency in the target language uh, while you're studying in a country of your choice. So this is a very important part of course for your studies in the final year as well. Um, secondly, uh, you will also develop a higher cultural awareness of the country you are studying or working in. So you will find out more about the politics, you know, the cultural life, um, philosophy of the country, etc, etc which is also very important. Also, the year abroad is highly valued by employers. Um, there was an Erasmus impact study conducted in 2014 which found that students who embark on a year abroad are less likely to experience long-term unemployment than those who didn't go to study or work abroad.